I'm Vanessa Selps and I'm a professional poker player. The key to understanding whether your opponents are bluffing or not bluffing is in paying attention to their tendencies. There are a couple things to look out for. One is bet sizing and another is maybe how quickly they act in a hand. I can't tell you if someone bets quickly or they bet a lot if they're bluffing or not bluffing. I wish it were that easy. But the main thing is to know that if you look out for these things in a specific player and you see, okay, this player bets really quickly when they're bluffing or this player bets really small when they're bluffing but big when they have a good hand, you'll notice a lot of players don't vary those kinds of things very well and you can pick up on patterns pretty easily. So it's just a question of knowing what to look out for. You have to be patient, you have to be logical, and you have to be fearless. One really great move that a novice player should know is called the squeeze play. Basically, if you're sitting there and you have a tight image, you haven't played a hand all day, and you have an aggressive player that raises a pot like they've been raising all the pots, and you know they might have a good hand, but they probably have garbage. And a few people call in front of you, you know, they might have a good hand, but they probably also have something pretty speculative. You know, if you have the right image for it, go ahead and make a really big re-raise, you know, especially in a tournament you really want to pick up those chips, it doesn't matter, don't even look at your hand, just make a big re-raise, you know, at a time when everyone's going to believe you, and, and you're going to pick up that pot. It all comes down to image, and if you've been tight for a really long time, you've got to capitalize, and you've got to look out for a spot to capitalize on that image.